Today I'm going to be talking about the eternal question of why women drive men freaking crazy. Now I'm not saying I'm going to answer the question but I'm definitely going to try to give you some things to think about to open your mind and to maybe explore that question by yourself a little bit. Now we men and women don't really live in different worlds. We live in different dimensions completely. I mean we are together in this physical realm and we hope and try to come to sort of equality and respect and unity um, in this world but we basically experience and see life in a completely different way than the other. This world has been governed by the dark masculine um, energy and uh, this society is basically built for that dark masculine energy. It's not even for the divine men. You know, it's not a men's world. It's not a divine men's world. It's basically a dark masculine world. So even the divine men and the divine feminine have been suppressed uh, in the, with this energy. So um, this, this society is basically meant and designed to drive women insane. <laughs> like everything about it is created to drive us crazy and detach completely from our power and who we really are. So a world that's built for, for, for the dark masculine has no room for divine masculine, let alone for the divine feminine. The dark masculine world has left no room also for men to learn and connect to their divinity. So we are all not only so different in energies, but now must relearn everything from scratch. We are babies when it comes to learning our divinity and true powers. This is an amazing but difficult time to live, the time of the rising of the mother. One thing is true to the masculine and feminine. Once we connect to the mother, to life itself, and feel our connection to everything, the game changes and we wake up. The Divine Masculine is, the, the energy of the Divine Masculine is always steady. It's always, um, it's never changing. It's always in the same place. And the Divine Feminine is always changing, always going everywhere around. And a woman also changes during the month. Think about it like the seasons. You know, we, we, we constantly change with our cycles. So a woman, uh, you know, that, that is feminine, uh, she feels a lot, just feels so much. Her emotions are constantly um, in an overflow. Um, and because of her, her nature for the connection to life and to everything, and especially a woman who lives her divine feminine, who is connected to her womb and is connected to other women, is connected to the mother, like she just feels everything all the time. Like, and men can never really understand them because, that because they're just there, like here. That's the masculine. He can be silent forever, just being there. <laughs> so no wonder the masculine can never get the feminine. Like we always look insane to the masculine. Um, so <laughs> um, yeah, it's basically our nature as divine feminine to change all the time, but there's no room or permission for that in this society, in the dark masculine society. So of course we will go crazy. Women will actually go crazy. Um, even unawarely, we will go crazy. If you could never be your true self, you will go crazy. It, it's just, it is what it is. Um, so we cannot be in our natural state most of the time. Um, and I'm talking about the divine masculine as well, but this video is, is explaining you know, why women do, drive men crazy. <laughs> so if we cannot be in our natural state, um, and do the right thing for our bodies and for our souls and then we react to it because we just feel so much and we hold on to so much energy and then we're labeled as crazy. Um, and then that drives us crazy also to be labeled as crazy. <laughs> so in this society women have been taught um, to, they, we haven't been taught to be in touch with our bodies, with our energy and it takes a lot from us because we always we are always in a kind of like inner struggle with ourselves um, and because a woman's cycle is um, and, and, and our nature is also connected to nature itself and everything and seasons and the sun and the moon and the earth um, to the rhythm of life and the earth um, when we're not connected to it we're our our rhythm is not flowing 
you know, we feel stuck and we feel it's difficult for us. Um, it causes us a lot, of, a lot of suffering and it causes as well suffering to the earth and all life because we are connected to all life and earth with our womb. Uh, and you can watch my other videos because I explain more about that as well. Um, so not to mention the effect that it has on our health and our mind. Um, yeah. So let's get to it. What does the feminine need? What do we need from the masculine? So the feminine needs from the masculine to, and she needs to know and she needs to feel that he will not budge no matter what. She needs, and I'm not saying be stubborn and being an asshole. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about energies, the masculine and feminine energies. Um, so no matter even what she does, even if, if the feminine pushes him and says, no, um, I'm not saying, you know, if a woman says no to you, then you keep going. Not at all. But I'm saying a woman needs to feel like the masculine is her steady rock. Like no matter what will happen in their life, she can she can trust this this masculine energy no matter if, if everything goes crazy and she goes crazy he will be there no matter what that's the main thing that we need um he needs she needs him to be to, to know that he's strong solid rock he will stand the, the the mightiest of life storms and her storms and her ups and downs he will just be there like this when she goes like this he will be there um and she she needs to know that he's strong that he that is why, like naturally, the feminine will test you. A woman will test you. Every woman, if she's, even if a woman is not in her divinity yet, it's kind of our nature to test the men. You notice that? Like we always kind of like poke it, like we, we do stuff and we want to test you. We want to test if you're strong enough, if you're able to sustain our energy and to hold it. Because really, the feminine doesn't need a man. We are connected to everything by ourselves. A man needs us. In order to connect to everything so um, yes we do need the, f the masculine in order to hold us steady in the ground sometimes because especially women in her divine feminine we're like flying up there most of the time and it, w it will be very helpful in this um, in this earth to have something steady that's holding us down but um, we don't per se need the masculine energy in order to to feel the connection to everything so we are going to test you. We're going to test if you're the right man for us, if you can hold on to our specific energy. Um, I can tell you personally, I haven't met many men that can hold my energy. And I know many women who, who still didn't meet their, uh, their divine man. Be and, and that's difficult, especially women in their divine feminine who are still do who are doing the work who are constantly changing and constantly going deeper and deeper and deeper into themselves because you know it, it takes a really really strong masculine to hold a strong feminine it's just it's 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 a vessel you know so um let's see what else a woman wants a woman wants to be ravished completely ravished by her man and to be completely immersed in in your love as you are immersed in her body um, she wants to surrender completely and let go of all the feelings the pain uh, the worries the guilt and the shame that this world puts on our shoulders um, so if a woman cannot do that with you she will keep testing you to see if you have the potential or she will just leave you um, and again not all of us are right now in our in our divinity even me i'm still on my path and we are not perfect and but if we all start to work and feel from our divine place we will attract people who do the same and we can just grow together so a woman needs a man like i'm talking about a woman who who's in her power and divinity a woman needs a man who can sexually devour her completely and a, a man who can see all her power and not be scared of it not be like oh she's crazy she's insane i can't handle it no she she will do that she will get crazy in order to see if you can handle it that's basically it <laughs> i mean it's it's kind of very easy and um and she needs a man who will fully take her and claim her and um and you know obviously you need to you know you men need to feel it and when you are in your divinity and your power and again your power is your heart so you feel it in your heart if this woman gave you her permission if she loves you enough 
then, you know, even if she tests you, then you kind of like have to feel your heart and see, okay, I'm going to fight for this woman. I'm going to, I'm going to hold her. I'm just going to hold everything that she has to offer me. And I'm going to show her that I won't budge, that I'm, that I'm stronger than, than, than even her craziest storm that she can give me. Um, she just wants to feel safe and she wants to feel held because again, she doesn't need you to do the spiritual work. You need her to do spiritual work, but she doesn't need you. And if you cannot give her that stability and strength and, and just be the rock for her, then she will, it will just, it, it will just fade away naturally. Now the divine feminine needs uh, an energy of the masculine that shows his lust like complete lust and desire for her and love through actions. Um, we don't, we don't, and I say we because I, I am a feminine energy. I say we, we don't really want just to hear beautiful words. That means nothing to us. We need to see a strong man who also knows our power and can handle it under any circumstances. Um, so that's why it seems like sometimes women like bad boys, you know, that term bad boys it's not that it's not that we like bad boys but we do but a woman does not need a man again who, who changes so fast according to her moods or life situation is not getting who doesn't get so scared really easily so we are the ones who change all the time us us feminine so we don't need you to do that we need you to stay like this all the time steady strong um, we need a grounded, a, like a grounding pillar who loves, respects, and can understand our flow and be there no matter what, no matter what happens. Um, not, do, not, not, um, not do anything we say, like I don't, we don't want a man who just does everything we say. That's not what we want because that's not a steady man. But we do want, we do want um, a man who, ga who gives us everything we need and to be there no matter what. Um, we need to feel his sturdiness and power just no matter what happens. So the thing is most women are not aware of their own energy today and the masculine um, and what they need. So they think they got a masculine man, but really they didn't. Like, um, like basically we, we have very warped ideas about what real masculine and real feminine is. So all of us need to do the work. Men and women today need to completely relearn what it is to be a divine feminine and a divine masculine. And when we're on this path, I promise you, the people that you're going to attract into your life are going to shift all the time. Like you're going to, as the, the more you uh, get closer to your divinity, you're going to meet a partner who's closer to the divinity. It's kind of like, it's the path, it's a mirror. You know, every every person we have in our life is a mirror. And it's, it's just the way it is. So men, if you want to attract a divine feminine energy into your life, you will just need to start living your divine masculine. It is what it is, it's a mirror, and you just have to attract each other. Um, and divine feminine, you gotta do the same. But again, we don't need the divine masculine. Um, we do need them. We do need the divine masculine in this physical world. It helps. It definitely helps to have a divine masculine, kind of like a grounding force for us, especially women who are in their, their divinity. But we don't need it per se. Men, if you do want to reach your divinity, you have to have the divine feminine. It, it it just it just it is what it is. Like she has the connection to everything. She has the womb. She has the real connection to the life force which you don't you have other powers it's not that the, the divine ma feminine is better than the masculine no freaking way we are completely equal in energies but we are just different so it just is what it is now this is for the men you can ask yourself can you handle a woman's power and changing energy can you handle it when she just goes to her moods and one day she's full of energy, one she's, day she's beautiful, one day she's ugly, one day she just wants to like not talk to anyone. Can you handle that? Can you respect that, understand that that's her nature and just be with it? Um, can you accept that the feminine will always change? No matter what happens, she will always, always change. <laughs> um, can you allow her 
to get some rest and peace when she bleeds, for example, and love her blood? Can you love the woman's blood? Can you respect it for what it is? And I have another video on, on, on the menstrual cycle, so you can watch that as well. Um, can you feel your own connection to the womb, to the woman's womb? Because you come from the womb, men, as well. So can you reconnect with that, with that energy of the woman? You can use your woman to do that. You can do that work together. Um, you know, this is why you have a woman, so you can connect to this life force again. Um, so, can you, again, can you, if you connect to the womb, you can, can, you can reconnect to the divine feminine within you, man, because we all have divine feminine and masculine, both of us. Um, do you feel, ask yourself, do I feel respect and awe when I see a beautiful woman walking down the street or do I just have some feeling of taking from her? You know, like I want to fuck her, I want to do this, I want to ha ha. Like, this is not divine masculine. This energy is very dark masculine and you all know what I'm talking about. So can I just look at a beautiful woman and respect and, and, and appreciate her energy and not and, and, and feel it in your body if you want to take from her, you know? Like, you're... you're, you're, you're um, the divine masculine doesn't want to take from the feminine. The divine masculine wants to protect. It, it, it just it, it has respect and it wants to protect the divine feminine. That's all it wants. So feel feel how you respond to women around you, and you will know if you're in your divine masculine or your or your div, or your dark masculine energy. Um, learn about the divine masculine and feminine energy, guys. It's really important to learn that. Um, there is a, um, a book that I would recommend to you. I think it's the best book ever written about this subject. And I think every man in this world needs to read this book as well as every woman because it helped me a lot even as, as a woman to read it. Um, it's called The Way of the Superior Men by David Data. Um, it's a very famous book. You should read it. Just, I'm not even going to say, just read the book. The, uh, the Path of the Superior Men by David Data, I think. So, and also he has some videos on YouTube, which I think would serve everyone on their path to divinity. Just men and women, like this guy knows what he's talking about. He's the only guy who speaks about this subject that like I feel he's just such a pure freaking channel, you know, when it comes to divine feminine and masculine energies. Um, now men, take each woman in your life as practice. Uh, mother, sister, uh, co-workers, your girlfriend, your wife, your, your child. Ev take any woman and, and, and kind of practice and see how you react to her energies. See if you can respect and learn and, and see, oh, okay, that's, that's the feminine. Can I accept that? Can I, can I live with that? You know, just ask yourself questions. See how you, see how you react to them. I mean, I mean, I can't do the work for you. I, I can just give you some stuff to think about, maybe open a door for you to practice, but you have to do it. You have to do the work. And it's really difficult sometimes because you are going to encounter some really ugly truths about yourself. You're going to look in the mirror and see some things that you might not really like about yourself. And you're like, fuck, I did not know I feel like that or think like that about the feminine, but let's change it, you know, if you want to. Of course, you don't have to. <laughs> Try to find the divine feminine in each of the women in your life. And just, and once you learn about the, your divine masculine, just give it to them. Give them the protection. Give them, the, the, just be there. Just be there. That's all a feminine needs. She needs a masculine energy to be there. Even if you have a little daughter, that's what she needs. She needs you to be there, to feel like you got her no matter what. That's it. Now, for the women, <laughs> um, when a man truly understands a woman and her nature, it is the most sexy thing for a woman. And we know that, like, right? Like, we don't need the bad boy. We just need a man who just there, you know, like full on power. You know, he, he just gets it. You know, he doesn't even have to say anything. Like, it's better sometimes that you don't say anything. Just like be there, you know. So women. We also have to learn about our true nature, about our body, how it connects to everything, our blood. And we have to respect ourselves and we have to teach ourselves first before we teach our men how to respect us. 
Because again, most women don't even know what divine feminine is. So how, how are we going to expect our men to respect our divinity if we don't even have a clue what it is? So it's up to us as well. And it actually starts with us women, I would say. Um, so after we connect with our divinity, we can teach the men the one man or, or all men in our lives um, about it so they can have the opportunity to respect and work better with the energies of all the women in their life as well. Kind of like, uh, you know, we just got to teach each other. We just got to teach ourselves and each other. We're all relearning this. No one ever taught us what the hell is divine masculine and divine feminine. Like, we just learn that beautiful women are skinny and they're models and they get all the love and we, hey, we make up stories as children and you know we each have our own stories and our own ideal about feminine and masculine which is really mostly just lies and not true um now women don't settle again don't settle ever ever <laughs> for less than divine masculine try to see beyond how a man looks like or you know the things that you think he should do just really really connect to the divinity within you and then you will know exactly what you need from the divine masculine and uh, try to you know you're gonna have to ask yourself many questions like how did I how do I see love and relationships and sex and all these things and try to see does it fit me like or anymore or maybe I have to re completely erase everything I ever thought about those subjects and 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 build something completely new because most, most of us here on this planet basically have to rebuild our entire belief system, like from scratch, <laughs> you know, reprogram ourselves completely. Um, so, and men do the same. Your woman will probably drive you crazy and will test you all the freaking time. But if she is in her divinity and you grow and become be a better man with her, she changes you. you. You feel you feel like she changes you, you know, and, and she makes you stronger. Then stay with it. You know, it doesn't matter what, how many punches she will give you. I'm not saying physically, just, you know, like um, how many uh, punches and tests she will give you. Stay with her. If you feel like you're still growing with her, stay, you know, just be that rock, be that divine masculine. Once you stop growing, if you stop growing with someone, then it's kind of like going to fade away slowly. But as long as you're growing and as long as you're both constantly reaching your divinity and just constantly doing it together, then just stay, just do it and, and, and love it, love every minute of it. Um, you know, a woman that changes you is worth it, basically. It's, it, that's, all, that's all a woman is. She, a woman will completely transform your world, the right woman. You know, she will shatter everything that you know and will make you she will push you to the best place that you can be like completely and even if she doesn't do it awarely she will just do it um and again don't settle for anything less than that men and women but especially women because when we allow a man into our body you know the man enters our body it does, it's not the other way around so we stay with all this energy and our womb is the portal and it's the most it's basically the entire universe it's the most powerful place in the world so we do not want to contaminate it with energies that don't fit us um i hope this helped and i hope this uh gave you something to think about and i love you so much thanks for listening i'm a servant of the mother and i pray for the awakening of all men and women on planet earth thank you dear divine masculine I believe in you, Divine Masculine. I see the beauty in you and the strength. I trust you and thank you for your beautiful heart. I surrender to you and open for you the door to the universe. My Divine Masculine, claim me and ravish me. Bring me closer to God and touch God through me. In my body is the door for you to the entire world and in your arms I rest safe and calm. Love always, the Divine Feminine.